thought we'd carry on looking at this um, Lion King program yesterday. We had a look at the character of Rafiki, who was the mandrill monkey, based on a sangoma, a spiritual healer. There, so we could have a look. Oh, thank you. And this was interesting. We didn't really look. This was the original sort of drawing that was done by the um, producer. Um, Julia Taymor. So that's how she envisaged the um, Rafiki looking. And that, that was the actress um, dressed up in the costume. I think it's a really good um, likeness from the picture, don't you? Really good representation. Shall we read on? Let's have a look. Oh, this is just a picture. That says, don't turn your back on me, Scar. Which one is Scar out of those two? Which one is... Oh, oh, oh yes, there's a picture of him there. There, and there, yes, that one's Scar. The nasty one. And that's the Lion King's um, father, isn't it? I don't know what his name was, actually. There. So the evil lion was called, just for practice, the evil lion was called, come on, what was he called? Why don't you touch the Y then? The evil lion was called S, C and A and Oh, very nicely done, Scar. Mm. Yes, hang on. S-C-A-R, did you want to say something else? Was the main C and after C would be H C H Scar was just a break was the main C H the H again. H A R and after the R would be A good C T go for it E and Art Scar was the main character Anything else that you wanted to say? Try with a pencil. A. What? L. A. L. O. Come on, keep it going. Next letter, next letter. N. G along, oh yes, 
W, I and T and keep it going, next letter, next letter, next letter. H along with Scar was the main character along with go on, who else? S and keep it go on, push your hovering over the eye. Push, 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 touch it. I very nice. Next letter would be I'll try and give you a bit more feedback when it is. M and B and that's better if I give you more feedback. A, yes! Scar was the main character along with Simba. Yes, very good observation. I like the costumes too. Look at that. There's the lion's face. And the lion's mane. Let's have a look and see if we can see some of the detail on it. Can you see the claws? Have a look and see what they've done on Scar. Look on his hands. Touch, touch his hand there. There, that's it. See? And you can see he's got really long, like, nails added on to his, his hand to, like, make it look like claws. <laughs> Don't turn your back on me, Scar. I remember that part in the production, do you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right then. Let's have a look at the next page. Ooh. Here we are. Mephusa. Oh, yes. So Mephusa is the Lion King's father. I couldn't remember his name. Let's write that one down. M -f -u -s -a. M -u -f -u -s -a. and that's him. M -f -u -s -a. Let's just practice that. M U Next letter would be F U then S then A and the Fusa was S and I and M and B. I'll give you lots of feedback again. And A and S. Simbas. Metfusa mm. was Simbas. Come on. F and A and keep it going, keep it going. Next letter. You're there, you're there, go on. One over. F, A. Touch the A again and then we'll move straight to it. A and T, very good. And go on, go on, go for the H. Go for the H. H and E and... You're there, the R. Touch the R. Touch the R. Oh, just go for the E and then the R. Touch the E, E and straight to the R. Touch it, touch the R. Touch it, move your elbow. That's it, good. Mephusa was Simba's father. Mm. Just out of interest, what sort of qualities do you feel that Mephusa had? Was he evil? Was he frivolous? Um, was he kind? What sort of qualities did Mephusa have, if you were to describe him? Mephusa, A, L, E, A, D, L, E, A, D. Touch the D again. D. Next letter would be A, L, E, E, and. Oh, yes, Mephusa. What qualities did he have? You could describe him as a leader. Yes. What sort of a leader do you think he would be? 
Would he be like a dictator or would he be a sort of a, a someone who would consult, a fair, a, a well-liked leader? What do you think? What sort of a leader do you think Mufusa was? Oh yes, maybe you're saying fair, A, and I, and R. Oh yes, you think that he would be a, a fair leader. Yes. Let's see what it says. Mafusa was one of the first characters that Julia Taymor designed starting with his distinctive mask, which would portray him as an animal, but also sit on his head like a crown. Oh, see, so it does sit on his head as a crown, and then you've got the animal, the lion face. Mufusa is powerful, terrifying, compassionate. Oh, there's three aspects to him, all of which I have to build into his face, she says. The essence of Mufusa is symmetry. He is an extremely balanced and straightforward personality. Oh. So, three, three things, that, three, three characteristics. Oh, careful, careful. One was terrifying. One was, you, you find one, one was... What do we say? He was, he was terrifying. He was also P. You're right. Go on, just practice. P. Go for the O. O. W. E. R. F. And U. L. Finish it with the U and the L. U and. Yes, he was also powerful and compassionate. Another word for compassionate. Another word for compassionate would be C. After the C would be next letter. C A. Next letter, where? R. Touch it, touch the next letter after the R. C, A, R. All right, touch the R again. And I'll give you more feedback. R, now next letter is, oh, didn't work, did it? It just squashed your finger. So touch the R again. R, I, M and that's that it would be. Go on, move your elbow, move your arm, push. After the N would be. Go on. Touch it, touch it, touch it. G, caring. Yes, another word for compassionate. Compassionate would be caring. Hmm, I listen. So the essence of Mufasa is symmetry. He is an extremely balanced and straightforward personality. I designed Mufasa's mane to form a circle around his head. He is like a sun god, the centre of the universe. His mane also symbolises the circle of life. I hadn't even thought of that. So see, that was where they were making the, that was the original um, Mufasa Maquette look, see, so there's the face and there's like the the part that would be his mane and there it is on the, um, on the costume. His costume, swords, hair and makeup are based on traditional Maasai warrior dress with the swords also doubling as the front legs of the lion when he is on the prowl. Oh, very interesting. So, 
the, the, they're based upon what, which warrior? Which warrior? The... M... A... We're just practicing. You were there. You were there. S... S... A... And... You're there. Come on, just one over to the eye. Ah, very good. You're, re you're trying really hard to move your fingers and your arm. So the, or the, the costume is based on warrior, warrior's dress and it was the Maasai warriors. Oh look, there's a little quote from the show. As king, you must learn to respect that balance. Mm. And then she talked about symmetry and balance. Very nice little sort of theme, isn't it? And there you can see Mufasa and you can see Simba. Mm. And then look underneath. In the, the grasslands, there's the um, antelope all ripping around. And I think Musa, Musa, Musa but says to the Lion King here, hey, you must not venture outside of these lands, doesn't he? Mm. And we have to respect the balance of the land. It's all part of the circle of life, isn't it? Mm. There. So if we look at these pictures, which one of these pictures would convey to you the word terrifying? Which one of those pictures? That one, that one, or that one would you say he looks? Not on this page, on that page there. That one, that one, or that one? Which one is it the terrifying look? That one? Oh, I think that one, he looks more, um, what he, he, I don't think he looks terrifying there, I think he looks powerful, he's got a sort of a powerful look on his face, that one there, I think he looks terrifying, see he's holding the sword up, yes, and his facial expression is, so that looks like he's, he's, he's in a fight, doesn't it? And I would say that that one is the, the balanced one, isn't it? Mm. There. Okay, we can turn over again now. Yeah. Oh, we've got some more pictures, and this is about. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is about the choreography. When we talk about choreography, what does that mean? If we talk about the choreography. The D A D A. You're right. N D A N. Go on. Take the pencil. Touch the N again. N. I give you lots of feedback. C. The dance. I. N and. Touch the G, that would make sense. Yeah, the choreography is to do with the dancing and the general movement, where everyone is, you know, on stage. Dancing and movement. And there were so many um, characters and things going on on stage. It was almost overwhelming for your vision, wasn't it? Can you imagine being the choreographer for that and coming mm -hmm. up with the idea and saying, right, you stand there, you stand there, and then when he moves here, you move over there, and you have to make sure that they don't trip over each other or bump into each other. There's a lot to learn. Shall we read what it says? So the choreographer... Um, the man who was responsible for it was Garth Fagan, and there's his picture. Mm. For the Lion King, dance was to be used in a very unusual way, 
More than simply allowing the characters to express their various emotions, the dance would also be more expressionistic. It would be a storytelling device. It would allow the dancers to represent the ferocity of lionesses on the hunt, the lush flowering jungle, the terror of a wildebeest stampede, the marshalling of hyena forces, even the dramatic battle finale would be staged as an elaborate dance. Mm. The perfect choice for this challenge was the Jamaican choreographer Garth mm. Fagan, who'd achieved worldwide success with his own dance company, Garth Fagan Dance. He was known for his eclectic style, a fusion of street contemporary classical, which would marry perfectly the show's uniquely international visual style. I wanted the choreography to feel unlike typical Broadway dancing, Fagan says. I wanted the dance to look like an integral part of this community, which of course includes strong elements from Africa, the kind of movement used by cultures that are close to the earth and nature. Fagan and Tamor began to lay out where in the production dance could serve as the main event of a scene, and all the while Fagan balanced the need to drive the story forward while allowing the dance to help portray the dancers as the flora and fauna they were portraying in any given scene. There are challenges, he says. How do you stage a hunt of lionesses without imitating the animal, but still get across the tenacity of the hunt? What are the elements of a lioness hunt that human bodies can depict? One of the things that intrigued me most when I saw a pride of lions in Kenya with a lion's huge, powerful shoulders, which cover you when they move. That's an important image I wanted to capture and maintain. Oh, look, so look. So he's talked about the huge lions. What part of the body? <coughs> what part of the body did he mention? Let's just practice shoulders. Shoulders. You can touch your shoulder. There's yours. Huge lions. Shoulders. S. H O U L D E R and S the lion's shoulders. Now then if you look on this picture and you see what he's done in the costume design. He's got the, they're the lionesses, they've got their, their masks on their heads. And to make their shoulders look wide, can you see the costume sort of is hooked around, there's a bit of rope there, hooking it round their hands so that when they hold their arms out, the costume, if you imagined you were holding it there, if you were one of those lionesses, you had your arms like that. And the costume is draped all the way across to either arm, and that makes it look like you've got big shoulders. Very cleverly done, isn't it? Very clever. There. Have to look at some more. <laughs> there. Let's have a look and see what that's in. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. That was one of the songs, wasn't it? Oh, I just can't wait to be king. That was a kind of a, a cheerful song, wasn't it? Look at all the bright colours on those costumes there. What have we got there? We've got giraffes. They're all sort of bright, like like sort of patchworky colours, aren't they? Mm. And which character is this one? This one is Zazu. Ooh, Zazu. Z A Z U. Zazu. There he is. And Zazu is a hornbill, and the king's 
Majordoma. Majordoma. Oh, there was the original sketch of what he should look like. And that's how he came out in the costume. That's pretty good, isn't it? The combination of his costume and puppet present the character in what Julie Taymor refers to as the double event where the audience sees both actor and puppet simultaneously. Oh yes, that was um, in really interesting, that actually. To represent the majordomo, the actor is dressed in Western formal dress, but a version rendered in African tie-dyed fabric with geometric patterning based on cuba cloth. While the puppet is a hornbill, the costume also reflects the bird's characteristics with a distinctive curled tail and cravat form to look like a bird's ruffle. A bowler hat completes the costume, showing again the major doma and also acting as a perch for the bird. Oh, yes. So, just for practice, touch the bowler hat. Touch the bowler hat on this picture. Touch on this picture, see if you can touch the bowler hat. The hat that he's wearing. On this one. Yeah, lift your elbow. That's it. Well done. There's the bowler hat. Yeah. And there's Simba. Ah, I can't remember her name. We'll have to see if we get to her later on. Mm -hmm. It's hard to remember all the characters, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There. Look. Look in there. I haven't, do you know what? On that character there, I haven't even spotted. There he is. It's there, see? That's the, uh, there's the zoo there. And, and there's the, um, the horn ball, horn bill. On, on his bowler hat. I haven't even noticed because it, it's such a mass of colour that it kind of blended in and I couldn't see his face. Mm. Very nice, isn't it? Oh, here's another dramatic picture, isn't it? Really dramatic picture. It says, be prepared for the death. Of mm -hmm. the king. Which animal does this um, picture feature mostly? It features the. Where? Oh, yeah, it's got Scar. Now, what are the other creatures? All of those creatures all around Scar. They are. Well, begins with an H. H. Why, that's right. E. Oh, don't swipe, just touch it. N. Now touch N again. Touch the N. Come on. N. And then the A. Touch A. Touch A. A. And then S. S, 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 S. Touch the S. Oh, it's finishing. Plural. There's more than one. Hyenas. Yes, this picture picture has mainly the hyenas. Ooh, look. How many of them are there? Oh gosh, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven I can see on this picture. And you've got the actors in their costumes, see, and they're like holding the Faces of the uh, hyenas. Do you remember when we went to the toilet that they had all of the hyena faces that were lined up at the back of the um, <coughs> at the back of the theatre, and they all came. When we got back from the toilet, we went back in, and the actors had got the the face, and they all came through the audience, didn't they? Look. Look, he's got, see, the back legs of the hyena. There's his feet and his boots. 
And there's the front legs hanging there and the teeth. Mmm, and there's Scar. And <coughs> this place where they are in this particular film, mm -hmm. um, in this particular part, I think represented the elephant's graveyard. I think that's what they said on the film. Mm. Very dramatic. Look, drink, because you haven't had much to drink. I'll just have a little drink too. My teeth and ambitions are bad. Oh look, there we are again. We've got Scar. Oh, he looks evil there, doesn't he? And he's looking down and talking to all of the hyenas. How many can we see here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Left of half thirteen, fourteen. I think that's another one. Fifteen. I think that this again makes you realise how much choreography was needed, doesn't it, to have all of those characters on stage at the same time? There. And a scar with Simba. Mm. Shall we? Shall we just write? Read about Scar's character. In creating the look for the character of Scar, Julie Tamor was determined to make his costume and mask reflect his nature. Off kilter, prickly and dangerous. So that's his nature. Scar is a more active force in the drama and has a wider range of emotions than Mufasa, says Julie Tamor, because he is so misshapen psychologically I sculpted him with one eyebrow up and one down, completely twisting his face. Do you know what? I hadn't noticed that before, but now when you look, if you look, let's just hold it up so you can look closely. Can you see here on his face? Look, one eyebrow up and one down. Ah, whereas Mufasa was all symmetrical, wasn't he? His mask is distorted and asymmetrical with a deep scar which is also mirrored in makeup design. His costume itself is a bony, skeletal, fragile construction while the silhouette of it is reflective of the traditional dress of a Japanese samurai. Ah, oh, so yes, so if you look at the, the, the lion his face is, is, is not like Mufasa, it's all asymmetrical, isn't it? Look, one even there, the cheek side is higher and his eyes and everything. And, and he's got the scar on his face there, which is why he's called Scar, obviously. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it, when you start reading about this, because it... You're not close enough, really, to observe all of the um, intricate details. Mm. What do you think? Have you got anything that you'd like to say about what we're doing so far? Mm. N. Okay. T. Mm. R. T. R. Y, I, after the I, T, R, Y, I, N, G, trying, trying. M 
why trying my go on H A R H A R do it so well. If you get you in a good position, H A R D E R D E Touch the E again. E. Go on. Go on, next letter. Just tell yourself next letter. S and T. Okay. Trying my hardest. Mm. Trying my hardest. Any more? Could be it or it could be more. Trying my yeah. hardest. T. Two. Trying my hardest to. Is that P? Okay. O. O. P. O. Come on. O. So I or N, which one? So we've got do the O, O and come on, come on. I, N, T. Okay, trying my hardest point. I know, I know. And you're doing so well, we just have to keep practicing. The more we practice, the more we'll get your skills back. You've had a lot of seizures and that does affect your pointing accuracy. Have, have a little bit more to drink, go on. I know that. And that's why we just we just go nice and easy. But just practice and we'll get your accuracy going again. And then you'll be able to I know that you've probably got a lot more that you'd like to say. Um, and, and, and it's a bit tricky, isn't it, when you're pointing hard, but we can still chat about things, make it easy for you. Mm. There's lots of information coming up. There, and we've got another picture to look at there. Run, Simba, run. Yeah, mm. that was quite dramatic, this part, wasn't it? When we watched it. He was trying to avoid the stampede, wasn't he? Mm. Okay, we're going to take another break from that bit. And we'll come back to it next time. Let's have a little sit down and do something else for a while.